Good morning. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer and Safe Haven. The Spirit of the Lord is exposing all the evil plans against you. We're faced with the various challenges of life, which we must not be discouraged. By the storms that may arise, the enemy only comes to kill, steal, or destroy. But Jesus comes so that you can have life and life more abundantly. The Lord is more concerned about your everyday activities than you ever imagined. He promised that he would never leave nor forsake you. So you know the meaning of never? It means never. That means that it is something that he will not fail to do. You see, God is a promise keeper. He never fails to keep his word. He's not like man because man can fail you. Man is unstable. He can be here today and there tomorrow. That's why you would not rely on what man says, but what God says, and that's it. And with that said, God did not promise that troubles would not come, but he promised he would be there when the trouble comes. In Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Now when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. This is a principle. The enemy would come with all he's got. Times like this will not, it will make us quiver. It will make us shake. It'll make us wonder if God is there or if he's listening to our plea. You can be discouraged, overwhelmed with fear and doubt, but God raised a standard against the enemy. God promised a divine intervention. This means that even when the going gets tough, even when life has turned bitter, even when it seems like things do not turn out well, God is always able to help you and lift you up far above the principalities and powers of the enemy. So how do you feel today? Discouraged? God has promised that he will always be there. He is your father. Look, I don't know about you, but I have not seen any God like him. I've not seen any God that is so consistent with his word. We are the ones that can doubt his capabilities. Yes, we are the ones that can doubt his capabilities. But he is God. He said he cannot deny himself. This God is faithful. Yes, God is faithful. Yes, you know and you need To remind yourself of these truths and stop being laid back. Stop being sorry for yourself. The greatest fear that the enemy has right now is that you realize how good God is and that you finally learn to trust him. Maybe from your experiences you struggle so much in life and you're wondering can God really help me? Am I not just a single person? The words that you speak can lift you up or bring you down. If you use your words negatively, you are using your hand to bring your downfall. But if you speak God's word, that is your mind is in agreement with what God says you will surely see positive results. I need you to understand that Jesus Christ is our standard. His victory is our victory. And on the cross, he won the victory when he died for our sins. And when he rose from the dead on the third day, he won the victory over death. And all the power of the enemy 
He has power over darkness, and there may be friends and and great news when we proclaim him as Savior and Lord in the earth. We are rising the standard. against the enemy the devil has no hold on you sin has no grip on you because of what jesus christ did two thousand years ago so what jesus did for us has eternal significance he has made us the light of the world you are not darkness you are light you're not defeated no you are victorious you're not depressed. You enjoy the glory of the God in your life. You are full of joy. So circumstances shouldn't make you cry. They shouldn't make you depressed. But it should make you rejoice. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The one in you is strong. So you are strong. The one in you is mighty, so you are mighty as he is. So are you in the, this world. This is your song, my friends. This is your victory. This is how you face the enemy when he brings battles. You don't run away, but you face him with the word of God. God is able to exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or even think. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever ask or think. Remember that. He's at work in, in you, both the will and to do of his good pleasure. The enemy may have plotted against you, but what God said is what is final. You need to find out what God has said about you in his word. His word is life, and it brings direction and deliverance to us. God is known as the great deliverer. He delivered the children of Israel from the hands of Pharaoh. He rescued Daniel from the lions. He saved the three Hebrew boys from the burning furnace. He also saved us from sin, from con condemnation and the burning flames of hell if he did all this for us it shows there was nothing he cannot do to ensure that you're safe it is his desire that you are not consumed or overwhelmed god is in you the bible says that if god is in you who can be against you definitely nobody his love is so great, so mighty, it floods our hearts and gives us peace and joy. You know, when times of discouragement comes, you ought to remind yourself of God's word. You must remind yourself of his love. Choose not to be shaken. Choose not to be overwhelmed by what you are passing through now. Choose to have a good perspective. Choose to see that those moments are building. Sorry, I'm having trouble. For things that are greater. You know gold is refined in, in heat. It's in the heat that all the impurities are removed and it comes out the best. The same way trials and temptations from the enemy would make us better and stronger. You can choose to allow the challenges to break you or make you. You will always then, you will always then to break you if you're always speaking the negatively about yourself. You never see good in yourself, and you allow a lot of negative emotions around you. However, you can choose to allow them to make you by speaking God's word. 
Now, when you speak God's word, you'll raise a standard against them. God's word has power, and it has the ability to change circumstances and situations. His word does not change, and he can never lie. So you can fully trust in him, withholding nothing but your confidence in God, and he will lead you in the way that you should go. Rest is in his promise. His word is comfort. His word is his life. His word is where the solution lies. So do not trust in your own strength because your strength can fail you. There's a limit to how you can go in your strength. There's a limit to how you can go in your intelligence and your senses. Man doesn't have all the solutions to promises today. However, God is always there and his strength never fails. He has all the answers to turn to him and seek his face. Tell him about all your troubles. Tell him about your pain. He's not only our God, but also our friend. Abraham was also a friend of God and would tell him things that will happen. He showed Abraham many things and gave him a promise. Yes, he gave him a promise of a child. Years went by. It seemed like God had said would not come to pass. But God had a plan. He told Abraham he would be the father of many nations. Even when Abraham knew that it did not look possible, he still trusted God. His enemies may have laughed at him and said he did not know what he was talking about. They might have called him a wanderer because he left his father's house. But Abraham believed God. He knew that God had a plan. He was confident that God will do exactly as he says. And God did it. So, you must believe God. Because a great testimony will come for you. You will see God move mightily in your life because you trusted him. So do not throw in the towel. Do not give up because God had a plan for you. It doesn't matter what you have passed through. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Therefore, you must think big. You must choose not to see your problem, but God at work. Trust God. He has your back. God bless you.